guys, I am Forever Game. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Violet Part ooh, 68. In the last episode, we battled Flop Penny and the Team Star storyline came to a close. And in this episode, we're going to go battle Arvin. But we're about to get a phone call. I don't really know from what, but it happened every time I left the building. So I just restarted. Rotototo. Calum. Penny, there's something I want to talk to you about. Did you meet me in front of the school stairs? You know where we first met? I'll be waiting. Girl, we'll talk later. Okay. Sure. I don't want the Nimona battle to trigger, but I do want the Arvin battle to trigger, so we're going to fly here. I have replaced Dashbun on the party temporarily with, um, is it Komo? -o? Komo? -o? Jangmoo, Hakamoo, I think it's Hakamoo. Um, because I don't know. I just felt like it may be a, like a bit more help in the battle with Arvin. Where's Arvin? Do I need to go in the lab? Oh, right here. Okay. I was not right there when the camera panned. Seriously, you beat me here? Well, this is the lab. I used to come here to play all the time when I was a kid. There better be a good reason for calling us here like this. Let's find out. Everyone always says he's some kind of genius. Absolutely brilliant as a Pokemon professor. My dad, that is. But let me tell you, as a parent, he's the worst. All he ever does is work. He never comes home. I don't have a single memory of him ever, even playing with me, his own kid. Mabastiff's the one who was up, who was there for me, always. Anyway, it's open now. Go on in. Oh, there's an interior. I just want to get this over with. Is there an interior? Do I get to look around? Do I? It's very rare we get an interior in this game. Oh, wow. This is like a cutscene. Holy shit. This is like a scene. <gasps> Oh, this looks good. Uh, why can't the whole game's cutscenes look like this? I need your help. Oh, so we have to go save Professor Turo? That looked good. I'm currently at the deepest point of Area Zero in the Great Crater of Paldea. Okay, I've been researching the unique Pokemon here for a very long time. He does not move when he talks. I've noticed that. Oh, he moved. I'm asking the two of you to lend a hand to help carry out the final step of the great Professor Turo's... Okay, of the great Professor Turo's glorious research. Tooting our, our own horn, are we? That's a little... The great Professor Turo, he's talking about himself. The final step... But there's something we need first. Something that can only be found within that lab. What we need is the Violet Book. This does not feel like a human being is speaking to me. Like, this is a pre-recorded message, right? Wait, do you mean this book? This is not a pre-recorded message. So why does he talk like that? Ah, uh, so you took it from the lab, did you, Arvin? That lab. Like, that's weird. This expedites things. Bring the Violet Book to the deepest depths of Area Zero. I promise that we'll, it will be an experience worth treasuring if you come. This is the first time I've seen Professor Turo emote. I must note, however, that Area Zero is both home to vicious Pokemon and outfitted with powerful cybernetic security systems. 
And it seems to me that you might struggle if the two of you were to enter alone. You may take the time to gather some reliable allies before you come if you feel the need. I'll be awaiting you in the deepest parts of Area Zero whenever you arrive. Why does... The, the way he talks is odd. Area Zero. That place is bad news. It was down in Area Zero that Mavistiff got wounded in the first place. Down in the Great Crater of Paldea. And all honestly, I'd be perfectly happy to never see that place again. Are you gonna go? Of course I'm gonna go. We might find our treasure. Our treasure, huh? Yeah, I suppose that was the assignment we were given. And I just can't stand by and watch while a friend heads off into danger on his own. So I guess I'm going to. Besides, I'd love to give Dad a piece of my mind. Alright then, Calum, outside. We're gonna have a Pokemon battle to see if we're ready to head into Area Zero or not. Mostly to see if I'm ready or not. Let's go. Okay, yay, we get to battle Arvin. We haven't battled Arvin since, like, the very beginning of the game. But, like, that cutscene walking into here, that was good. That looked good. It's unfortunate that the entire game couldn't look that good. Mysterious device. I just want to see if, like, there's stuff. Whiteboard of masses and scribbled letters. Nothing. There's a magazine entitled, A Culture, It's the May Issue. An article caught your eye. Enigmas of Paldea, number five, Iron Hands. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Hariyama, the Hariyama one looks hideous. Iron Valiant, is that the Gardevoir Gallade looking one? Yes. I'm not gonna read those. There's a picture book for kids. One of them tells a story about making a big sandwich. This game loves a shitty sandwich. They love a shitty sandwich. Hmm. Okay. Well, that was cool. I was blown away by that cutscene. That looked good. There was, like, shading and shit. Like, wow. They shaded my boots. Like, that was crazy. Like, my custom player outfit. Okay, I'm ready, I think. Alright, you ready for a battle, Calum? Yes. Let's do it. Excellent. You're ready to go. You're ready too, right, Mavistiff? Yeah, Mavistiff says he's ready. You're battling with Mavistiff? Oh yeah, I can see why you'd be so worried. But my buddy here is bursting with energy. You'd never know he was so weak just a little while ago. Won't leave me alone, always whining at me, wanting to battle you and your Pokemon. It's been so long, I nearly forgot, but he was he always did love to battle. Even if he always lost to that student council girl, the battle fanatic one. Oh, well, if you lost to her, I'm sure I'll be able to beat you easily. Anyway, my point is, there's no need to worry. Okay, Dawn. We're brand new Arvin and Mavistiff, and we're feeling audacious, or maybe herbaceous? Let me give you a taste of what we can do. I'm ready. You're challenged by Pokemon Trainer Arvin. Arvin sent out a Greedent. We are leading currently with Ledge. Yay. The Pokemon that I met during our hunt for the Urban Mystica are all stars. Every one of them. Okay, so we are going to close combat. Because Greedent is a normal type, it's weak to fighting. Really, Ledge? Okay, whatever. Earthquake, that's a bit much. We're gonna die. Oh no, we didn't, yay. Um, Bitter Blade. I think that heals us too. It won't heal us much. I think Sarah Ledge is done for this battle. I thought Close Combat would take it out in one, but I guess not. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we can heal, but I don't think we'll need to. Yay, Sarah Ledge grew to level 60. Bombardier wants to learn Parting Shot. What is Parting Shot? It's a dark move. 
With a parting threat, the user lowers the target's attack. Oh. No. No. I don't really have- I really haven't done setup moves in this game. Garganical. Garganical is a rock type. It is weak to fighting, ground, steel, water, and grass. So I am going to switch to... Miascarada, probably. I hate to keep defaulting to Miascarada, but it just seems like it's really good. Plus, I feel like we don't have a water type, and a lot of things are weak to water and grass. I'm starting to notice. Yay! A critical hit. We beat Garganical. Okay, Scovalian or Scovillin? Scovillian. Scovillin? Is it Scovillin? Um, Scovillin is fire, grass, and is weak to flying, poison, and rock. So I'm going to switch to Glamora! She finally gets to do something. Did Glamora get anything to do in the Elite Four Champion battle? I can't remember. That was several weeks ago. Scovillian! Battle! Um, Power Gem is 80. We'll just do like two Power Gems. Yay! One shot. The Sour Ledge is the only one that really fucked that up, but I guess it's because it's not stabbed. Toad Scroll. Toad Scroll is ground grass, and it is weak to flying, bug, fire, and ice. Um, flying, bug, fire, and ice. Um, Bombardier, I guess. I would switch in Sour Ledge, but Sour Ledge is about to die. Bombardier. Toad Scroll. The thing that should have just been Paldean Tentacruel. I don't think anybody would have cared. So, Dual Wing B. Oh, come on. One shot. I know that's right, Bombardier. See, if this was Dash Bun. We'd have to do, like, three moves. Mm. It's so pleasant. I feel like Dash Bun could easily be replaced with, like, one of those Paradox Pokemon. Cloister. Cloister is water, ice. It is weak to flying, rock, grass, and electric. I am going to switch to Ferrograph. Why? Don't think he's gotten near enough screen time these past, like, four episodes. But hopefully we can change that. Ferrograph. Considering it is one of my favorite Paldean Pokemon, I feel like it should get more screen time. So, Thunderbolt! Light screen. Ooh. Okay. Oh, okay, we're great. Okay. Thunderbolt! Liquidation. Oh no, we're fine. Thunderbolt! Yay! Pusher fainted. I think he only has one Pokemon left. Mavistiff. Mavistiff is a dark type. It is weak to fighting bug and fairy. So I'm going to switch to... Mm... We'll switch to Sour Ledge. I think we're going to... I'm assuming it's going to Terrastalize. And I think we would Terrastalize probably Miascarada. But I figure we could close combat. Because I feel like we'll be faster. Intimidate. Our attack fell. Close combat. Let's celebrate your full recovery with a glow up. Time to Terrastalize, Mavistiff. Mabostiff? I really don't know. They have. I haven't seen one in the anime. I don't know why I'm taking pictures. I'll probably just use one of the cool ones from inside the lab. But yay, it terrestrializes into a dark type. Thank god. Nothing crazy. Close combat. Yay! Okay, that worked. And it'll faint Sour Ledge, which means Hakamoa will get more experience. Mm-hmm. Oh, it flinched. Oh, never mind then. Sour Ledge is going to win. Okay, yay! But that means Sour Ledge got something to do, and we didn't even have to terrestrialize. 
Okay, I kind of wanted Sarah Ledge to die, but it's fine. Hakamo grew to level 41, so I think we only have four more levels for Hakamo. -o. We were so close, Mabistiff. So close. Mikaelum, thanks, little buddy. I love the little buddy thing. It's so cute. Dang, this is the strength of someone who could take down those Titan Pokemon, huh? Yeah, much as I hate to admit it, I do think we're going to need some more support. The Pokemon in Area Zero are super strong, and there are all, and there, there are all sorts of weird machines there too. I'd say we need at least two more people: somebody with champion rank level skills, and somebody who could deal with crazy tech. Maybe Nimona, the student council girl. Yeah, she'd be perfect for the job. But I doubt she'd give us the time of day unless one of us was on her level, as in champion rank level. Me. But well, well, we've got to do what we got to do. Whoever you think could help, could be a help. Just try getting good with them. We'll see if we can't get a team together. Get in touch if we make progress. I'll do the same. Yeah, I was not going to suggest Flop Penny, as I named last episode. Path of Legends. Complete. So now we just need to talk to Penny and Amona. Okay, yay. Um, I'm going to go heal. And we're going to go do some classes. Oh, side eye, cute. Um, we've battled all these people. But yeah, we're going to go do some classes. And then hopefully they'll give us, like, EXP candies or something. <laughs> I beg. And then in the next episode, we'll probably battle Nimona. We can go talk to Penny, I guess. But I don't know if Penny... If talking to Penny is gonna be close enough to trigger the Nimona battle. Yay! Sarah Ledge and the rest of your team should feel better. Okay. Not what I meant to do. Take me back to Mesagoza. I feel like this is too close, but it's fine. Uva Academy, fly. I just don't want to trigger the Nimona battle, because I feel like I want to go in there with, like, a team. Her levels are between 65 and 66, and I just don't feel confident with just that one missing spot in the party. But, mmm, do I? Could I? Could I? I could grow to feel confident about it. I could, but I have to, like, look it up in between episodes, like, her typing, just to make sure, like, we're at least somewhat prepared. Okay, I'd like to take a class. Let me take, um, I guess, Home Ec 4. With Mr. Sagawaro. Okay, don't be tardy. Let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. Put away your phones. It is time to begin class. Though some of you had to retake the midterm exam multiple times, I'm glad to say that the majority of the class passed without issue. I feel honored to see that the knowledge and skills indispensable for daily life have taken root in all of you. I trust that you will all work just as hard on your life skills in the second half of our course as well. Let us now turn our attention to the topic of the day, which was inspired by the question I received on the subject of meal powers. The student who asked this question is a young man who enjoys the culinary arts. Was that me? He tells me that he regularly- no, that was not me. That he regularly researches culinary techniques on his own and pays careful attention to the ingredients he uses. It'd be cute if he was talking about Arvin. He also spends day and night studying all aspects of the culinary arts. Yet despite this, he's baffled by his inability to increase the effectiveness of his meal powers. So tell me, Master Calum, since you did quite well in your midterm exam, what should our, him, this young man, do to increase the effectiveness of his meal powers? Should, I don't know. Um, Pokemon Home Ec Answers. Hate to say it, but I'm, I don't know. I don't make meals in this game, as you could probably assume. Um, make food with others. Perfectly correct. I see that you are knowledgeable about the culinary arts. 
To increase the effectiveness of meal powers, your sandwiches must be filled with many different ingredients. For a single person, this may prove difficult, but if you prepare a sandwich with others, you will be able to handle a larger serving of bread. With a larger base to start with, it becomes quite simple to add more ingredients to your sandwich, which in turn makes it possible to receive meal powers of increased effectiveness. This implies more broadly as well, when dealing with a difficult issue, work with others to solve that issue may be the best course of action. I'm sure that Arvin will likewise work with friends to craft his sandwiches in the future. <gasps> it's cute that it was Arvin though. <clears throat> the identity of the male student is a matter of privacy, so I'd ask you do not pry too deeply. Our time together has come to an end for today. I bid you all farewell. Ah, Mr. Sagawaro. Lovely to see him as always. But okay, let's do another class. Can I talk to him? Or no? I can. I can talk to Sagawaro in the staff room and Hassel in the entrance hall. Um, I'm gonna take one more class. And then we'll talk to everybody. Um, God, math or language? Let's do language. Mr. Salvatore. Or is it Salvatore? I think it may be Salvatore. Because I think Salvatore has to have, like, the, the thing on the E, the top, the little thing. I don't know what it's called. How did you like the midterm exam? You all did really great. We're halfway there, and now time for another lesson. Es vous Are you ready? We. Oui. Très bon response. Great answer. Merci, my friends. I knew I could count on you stars. Leading up to the midterms, we learned all sorts of world words from different regions. Starting today, though, I'll be throwing a curveball, for we'll begin listening comprehension. Oh, shit. Vasa go for my assistant. Pika pi Pikachu. Pikachu. As you just heard, Pikachu, Pokemon can use words to communicate. It's not always easy for us to understand them, but their words have meanings, just as ours do. Pokemon can use language to share all kinds of information with each other, like the location of food or whether there may be predators nearby. The same Pokemon's cries may sound different depending on what it wants to say. I'm sure you're all cu curious, so I join you Hui today, that is, let's learn some Pokemon language. Je t'aime pri, if you would be so kind, Pikachu. Higa. What emotion do you suppose Pikachu was trying to convey just now? Shit, I don't know. Uh, happiness, maybe? Um, language answers. Um, language. Oh my god, accept all cookies. I don't give a fuck. Language answers. Um, anger? I feel like anger is not the correct word, but sure. Marvelo, Kalem, correct answer. I guess we should call you Professor. When Pikachu says, Piga, it's using its angry voice. That's right, I had my little Pikachu friend here pretend to be angry for us. Don't you think you did a great job? Give Pikachu a round of applause, everyone. I did not feel like that conveyed anything. The same Pokemon can even communicate its feeling in many different ways. Their voices change depending on their mood and physical condition. Try listening more carefully to Pokemon, you must might gain a deeper understanding of them. That having been said, Pokemon are quite mysterious creatures. Some actually don't communicate with words at all, but instead use things like electromagnetic or ultrasonic waves. Some even use telepathy. And now, apros, apropos of nothing, let me give you all one wise word of advice. If you poke at your Pokemon too many times while watching them during picnics, they'll get mad at you like Pikachu just demonstrated. Okay. Well, adios. Matane. A la prochaine. See you later, everyone. Okay. I don't think we're technologically there enough to where I can differentiate the Pokemon's cries. By emotion. Okay, now we need to talk to Hassel. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's over here. Hello. Oh, why well, hello there, young Calum. 
I'm sorry, I was lost in thought and didn't notice your approach. I feel I must again apologize for what transpired in the schoolyard. What are you talking about? Of course I'm referring to how rather, I rather suddenly had to take my leave while we were still engaged in conversation. Oh, yeah, your friend. The woman who showed up as a dragon tamer, a relative of mine, I might add. You see, I come from a very long line of trainers who specialize in dragon type Pokemon. There was a child in our family who was expected to stand at his head and lead it to greatness. The young lad, rebellious little fellow that he was, ran away, f away from home one day. He made quite the show of it, too, swearing he'd make a living with music. Is that him? A lot has happened since then, and now he's the art teacher and elite form member before you. After I so rudely took my leave during our last conversation, my dear relative encouraged me to give up teaching and return home at last. I've been told the current leader of my family, that is to say my father, is in poor health. Oh, but I do apologize. Perhaps I am not cutting out, cut out for teaching after all. What sort of teacher grumbles on and on at his own student? You're a great teacher. Oh, my dear Calum, you have no idea how much your words mean to me. Thank you, thank you so much. You feel trusted by Mr. Hassel. Cute. I wonder if he's related to, like, Claire and Lance. That'd be cute, Cla if he was related to Claire and Lance. That'd be magical, to be honest. I wonder if we could name drop one of them. Because Lance is a dragon tamer. Like, that's his, like, trainer class. That's the only other, like, family of, like, dragon trainers I can think of. Other than, like, fucking, like, Drayden and Iris. But I don't think he gives Drayden and Iris. He gives more, like, Lance and Claire. Especially with that dragon tamer as, like, his cousin or something. Okay, so we need to talk to you two. Oh, my dear Calum. Thanks for your advice from before. Pommy is, we'll just see for yourself. Is it feeling better now? Hmm? Yeah, it's feeling better, but this particular Pommy may just be a bit meek, I suppose. I had Nurse Miriam take a look as well, and she says there's nothing wrong with it health wise. It shouldn't have any injuries, ailments, or the like. Hmm. Even so, it never utters so much as a cry, which is odd. The part has even Mr. Jacques here stumped. Maybe it's just quiet. Sorry that I couldn't be of any help. Netquiete pas. Don't worry about it. I have some more information now, thanks to the Academy's security cameras, though. It seems Pommy was attacked by a wild Pokemon and fled here to the Academy grounds. Maybe it's still in a bit of shock from that experience and can't bring itself to speak yet. Yup, if that's the case, there's absolutely no problem with keeping quiet. Pas de probleme. We can just attend Wait, that is, until it feels like talking. That is all we can do, really. Even if you speak all sorts of languages, there's no guarantee that you can understand what's going on in someone's heart. But have no fear. I won't give up. No. I'll keep on trying until we figure each other out. You feel trusted by Mr. Salvatore. I genuinely still think it'd be, like, perfect for the Palmy on the Brave Asagi in the show to, like, get injured and make its way to Mr. Salvatore. I think it'd be so cute. Staff room. What does Mr. Saguaro want? Hello. Ah, Master Calum. There's something that I would very much like to help ask for your help with. You need my help? Well, you see, I do not want anyone to overhear this, but... I hear rumors of an incredibly sweet condiment that exists somewhere in the Paldea region. I absolutely must experience that ambrosial sweetness for myself. You're the only one who knows my insatiable sweet tooth. Thus, I have no one I can turn else I can turn to for help in this matter. I cannot go looking for this condiment myself, lest I destroy the image students have of me. I will repay you for your troubles, of course. Give it some thought, though, if this piques your interest. In the meantime, I will gather that 
what information I can about this incredibly sweet condiment. Is it just going to be like honey or something? I will share what I find with you as soon as I have more detailed information. You feel trusted by Mr. Sagawaro. Yay! Okay, so we're going to go back to the entrance hall. Yeah, there's nobody else left to talk to. Okay, back to the entrance hall. I think in the next episode, we'll go talk to Penny and Nimona and see if we can recruit them to our cause of going to the depths of Area Zero. So, I think that's going to be all for now, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!